Human body organs and their functions. Skin. The skin is the largest organ of the human body. It is made up of three main layers, epidermis, dermis and hypodermis. The skin has three main functions, protection, thermoregulation and sensation. Protection. The skin acts as a protective barrier from mechanical, thermal and other physical injury, harmful agents, excessive loss of moisture and protein and harmful effects of UV radiation. Thermoregulation. One of the skin's important functions is to protect the body from cold or heat and maintain a constant core temperature. This is achieved by the alterations to the blood flow through the cutaneous vascular bed. During warm periods, the vessels dilate, the skin reddens and the beads of sweat form on the surface. Vasodilation is equal to more blood flow and that is equal to the greater direct heat loss. In cold periods, the blood vessels constrict, preventing heat from escaping. Vasoconstriction is equal to the less blood flow and that is equal to the reduced heat loss. Sensation Skin is the sense of touch organ that triggers a response if we touch or feel something, including things that can cause pain. Sensation of pain, temperature, touch and deep pressure starts with the skin. Brain. Your brain receives information from your five senses. That is sight, smell, sound, touch and taste. Your brain also receives inputs including touch, vibration, pain and temperature from the rest of your body as well as autonomic involuntary inputs from your organs. Your brain enables thoughts and decisions, memories and emotions, movements, balance and coordination, perception of various sensations including pain, automatic behavior such as breathing, heart rate, sleep and temperature control, regulation of organ function, speech and language functions, fight or flight response, stress response. Heart. The heart is a fist-sized organ that pumps blood throughout your body and it's your circulatory system's main organ. Muscle and tissue make up this powerhouse organ. The heart's primary function is to pump blood throughout the body. It supplies oxygen and nutrients to the tissues and removes carbon dioxide and waste from the blood. It also helps to maintain adequate blood pressure throughout the body. Heart pumps blood throughout the body, hence playing an important role in maintaining body temperature. Lungs The lungs are the major organs of the respiratory system, which helps provide the body with a continuous supply of oxygen. It is responsible for exchanging oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood. They bring oxygen into our bodies called inspiration or inhalation and send carbon dioxide out called expiration or exhalation. This exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide is called respiration. It maintains the pH balance as too much carbon dioxide can cause the body to become acidic. If the lungs detect a rise in acidity, they increase the ventilation rate to expel more of the unwanted gas which helps balance pH. Liver. The liver is located in the upper right hand portion of the abdominal cavity beneath the diaphragm and on the top of the stomach, right kidney and intestines. It is shaped like a cone. The liver is a dark reddish brown organ that weighs about 3 pounds. The liver is an essential organ of the body that performs over 500 vital functions. These include removing waste products and foreign substances from the bloodstream, regulating blood pressure levels and creating essential nutrients. Here are some of its most important functions. Albumin production Albumin is a protein that keeps fluids in the bloodstream from leaking into the surrounding tissue. It also carries hormones, vitamins and enzymes through the body. Bile production Bile is a fluid that is critical to the digestion and absorption of fats in the small intestine. Filter blood All the blood leaving the stomach and intestine passes through the liver which removes toxins, byproducts and other harmful substances. Regulate amino acids. The production of proteins depend on amino acids. The liver makes sure amino acid levels in the bloodstream remain healthy. Regulates blood clotting. Blood clotting coagulants are created using vitamin K, which can only be absorbed with the help of a bile a fluid the liver produces. Resists infection. As part of the filtering process, the liver also removes bacteria from the bloodstream. Stores vitamins and minerals. The liver stores significant amounts of vitamins A, D, E, K and B12 as well as iron and copper.
processes glucose. The liver removes excess glucose from the bloodstream and stores it as glycogen. As needed, it can convert glycogen back into glucose. Kidney. The kidneys are two bean-shaped organs that filter your blood. Your kidneys are part of your urinary system. They clean toxins and waste out of your blood. Common waste products include nitrogen waste, urea, muscle waste, creatinine, and acids. They help your body remove these substances. Your kidneys filter about half a cup of blood every minute. The kidneys also control the acid-base balance of your blood, make glucose if your blood does not have enough sugar, make a protein called renin that increases blood pressure, produce your hormones calcitriol and erythropoietin. Calcitriol is a form of vitamin D that helps your body absorb calcium and erythropoietin helps your body make red blood cells. An adrenal gland sits on the top of each kidney. It produces hormones including cortisol which helps your body respond to stress. Stomach. The stomach is a J-shaped organ that digests food. It is a part of gastrointestinal tract. The stomach's purpose is to digest food and send it to your small intestine. It has three functions. Temporarily store food, contract and relax to mix and break down food, and produces enzymes and other specialized cells to digest food. Pancreas. The pancreas is an organ located in the abdomen. It plays an essential role in converting the food we eat into fuel for the body's cells. The pancreas has two main functions, an exocrine function that helps in digestion and an endocrine function that regulates blood sugar by producing insulin and other hormones. Small intestine. The small intestine is actually the longest segment of the gastrointestinal tract. The small intestine is where most of the long process of digestion takes place. It systematically breaks down food, absorbs nutrients, extracts water and moves food along the gastrointestinal tract. Large intestine. The large intestine is the last part of the gastrointestinal tract. It follows from the small intestine and ends at the anal canal where food waste leaves your body. The large intestine has three primary functions. Number one, absorbing water and electrolytes. Number two, producing and absorbing vitamins. And number three, forming and propelling feces towards the rectum for elimination. Gallbladder. The gallbladder is a small pear-shaped organ located on the right side of your abdomen just beneath your liver. It plays a key role in digestion. The gallbladder's main function is to store bile, a liquid produced by your liver that helps digest fat. When you eat, your gallbladder releases bile into your small intestine. Thyroid. Your thyroid is a small butterfly-shaped gland located at the front of your neck under your skin. It's a part of your endocrine system and controls many of your body's important functions by producing and releasing certain hormones. The thyroid gland produces hormones that regulate the body's metabolic rate, growth, and development. It plays a role in controlling heart, muscle, and digestive function, brain development, and bone maintenance. Adrenal gland. Adrenal glands, also known as suprarenal glands, are small triangular shaped glands located on top of both kidneys. The adrenal glands have two parts, the cortex and medulla. The cortex is the outer part of the gland. It produces the hormones cortisol and aldosterone. The medulla, meanwhile, is the inner part of the gland. It produces the hormones adrenaline and noradrenaline. These four hormones are essential to normal functioning in the body. They control many important functions, including metabolism, blood sugar levels, blood pressure, salt and water balance, pregnancy, sexual development before and during puberty, stress response, the balance of sex hormones including estrogen and testosterone. Spleen The spleen is a fist-sized organ found in the upper left side of your abdomen, next to your stomach and behind your left ribs. It's an important part of your immune system, but you can survive without it. This is because the liver can take over many of the spleen's functions. The functions of the spleen are stores blood, filter blood by removing cellular waste and getting rid of old or damaged blood cells, makes white blood cells and antibodies that help you fight infection, maintains the levels of fluid in your body, produces antibodies that protect you against infection. Thymus. The thymus gland is located in the chest behind the breastbone. Its function includes producing white blood cells known as T cells which aid in immunity and helps to destroy infected or cancerous cells in the body. It also contribu contributes to the production of hormones such as insulin. 
पिचुटरी ग्लैंड द पिचुटरी ग्लैंड इज समटाइम्स कॉल्ड द मास्टर ग्लैंड ऑफ द एंडोक्राइन सिस्टम बिकॉज इट कंट्रोल्स द फंक्शन ऑफ मेनी ऑफ द अदर एंडोक्राइन ग्लैंड द पिचुटरी ग्लैंड इज नो लार्जर देन अपील एंड इज लोकेटेड एट द बेस ऑफ द ब्रेन द ग्लैंड इज अटैच टू दाइपोथेलमस बाई नर्व फाइबर्स एंड ब्लड वेसल्स it ha- it itself consists of the two major structures anterior lobe and the posterior lobe the hormones produced by the anterior lobe are growth hormone prolactin that stimulates the milk production in the female breast adrenocorticotropic hormone which regulates the adrenal glands thyroid stimulating hormone which regulates the thyroid gland follicle stimulating hormone which regulates the ovaries and testes luteinizing hormone which regulates the ovaries or testes Hormones produced by the posterior lobe are ADH. Antidiuretic hormone is actually pro- produced in the hypothalamus and stored in the pituitary gland. It increases absorption of water by the kidneys. It also increases blood pressure. Number second is the oxytocin that helps in contraction the uterus during childbirth and stimulate the release of milk during breastfeeding. Uterus a uterus also called the womb is a muscular inverted pear shaped organ of the female reproductive system between the bladder and the rectum there are four main functions of the uterus the uterus plays a significant role in the processes of menstruation implantation of the embryo gestation or development of the embryo and later the fetus and the last one is the labor prostate the prostate gland is located just below the bladder in men and surrounds the top portion of the tube that drains urine from the bladder the prostate's primary function is to produce the fluid that nourishes and transports sperm seminal fluid bladder the urinary bladder is a hollow spherical shaped organ that holds urine for most people it can hold 500 to 700 ml of urine function of the bladder Your bladder holds urine. Your kidneys filter your blood and removes materials such as salt, water, toxins, and waste products through urine. As your bladder fills with pee, it expands like a balloon. When it fills with two hundred to three fifty mL of urine, nerves in your bladder tell your brain to use the toilet. When you pee, your bladder shrinks back down. Most people urinate about nine fifty to nineteen hundred mL each day. rectum the rectum is the end part of the large intestine that connects the colon to the anus it is the area where a person holds stool before excreting it from the body it is around 12 to 15 cm in length trachea the trachea is part of the lower respiratory tract along with the lungs bronchi bronchioles and alveoli this strong flexible tube is also called the windpipe because its main job is to move air in and out of the lungs In an adult the trachea is about 4 to 5 inches long and 1 inch around diameter. The trachea starts just under the voice box and runs down the center of the chest behind the breast bone in front of the esophagus. Trachea function. The function of the trachea is to be the main passage way for air to pass from the upper respiratory tract to the lungs. As air flows into the trachea during inhalation it is warmed and moisturized before entering the lungs most particles that enter the airway are trapped in the thin layer of mucus on the trachea walls they are they then moved up towards the mouth by cilia where they can be coughed up or swallowed this is it for the today's video i hope you guys liked the video i will meet you guys in the next video inshallah till then allah hafiz